Hey guys, this is David from Benchmark. This is a base setup, and today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through the three most common problems that we get on the tech support line that might have to do with your base setup and how that's messing up your data in the field. And we're gonna talk about how you can fix your base setup and how you can get really accurate data in the field. I'll also put a link to some more detailed base setup videos throughout this video. So if you see a method that you should be using, you can check out that video and it'll show you how to use it. So the first and most common issue we get with base setups is an error on Field Genius that says you're too far from your known point to set up this base. Now, I put a screenshot up here of what that error looks like. This error shows up when you use the known point setup in Field Genius. And the reason it shows up is because using this setup method, Field Genius is looking for what we call a geodetic coordinate. It's looking for a latitude and a longitude. This happens to guys when they're looking to set up over a benchmark, over a survey monument. Any sort of point that, that we consider a known point, but all they have is the northing and easting. They don't have the lat and long. So they, they feed that northing and easting to the receiver, but the lat long it's getting from Field Genius is zero and zero. And so actually you are very far away from that position. And so it stops you from setting up your base. If you're looking to set up your base on a known point like a benchmark, benchmark or a known point like a survey marker or anything like that, what you actually need to do is use a local transform setup and that just, that ties the lat long of your base to a local coordinate that's the northing and easting. Problem number two is when you do a survey over two days and then you take a look at your data and you notice that all your data from day one to day two is shifted by constant amount in the same direction. And you're going, that doesn't make sense. I was on the same points. Why, why have I moved, you know, a foot to the northeast and, and a foot in elevation. And usually that's because guys have done two average point setups on the same job. So you go out day one, you put your base in the field, you do an average point setup, and then you store a bunch of points. And then you come back the next day and rather than putting your base on top of the same nail and doing that known point setup for the second day where we, we save the point, we have a lot long, they've just done a second average point setup and that average point on the base can be, you know, a foot or two different and that makes all their rover data Data a foot or two different. So I put a video, a link to a video here on you know your day two setup. That would be the known point setup. You only really want to use an average point setup if it's your first day and you don't care if things line up or not, or if you're then gonna go ahead and localize with the rover. Our third problem today is when guys phone up and they have a random difference between all their points day one to day two, or an elevation difference, and their, their data just seems to be being wonky, nothing seems to be lining up, and, and really everything looks like nothing should be accurate in the world and anything should work, but typically what causes this is the exact opposite of our, our last problem. Rather than doing two average geodetic setups. They've done two local transformation point setups. And what that means is you've taken a point on day one. You've said this lat long of my base, this is the northing and easting for it. Let's go survey. And then you come back day two, they put their base on the same point, but rather than telling it the known point day two setup and saying this is where you are, they've once again said your lat long is equal to these northing and easting's and it has now two sets of lat longs that could be a foot or two different tying into the same northing and easting point in that localization file and that causes your day two data to be all over the place. An easy fix for this is just to go in, reset your localization, then you can do your local transform setup, but always remember to save that base point so when you come back the next time, you can do a known point setup and you don't have to worry about any of the headache. If you wanna learn how to do localizations, you can check out this video up here in the corner. And also if you wanna learn how to do a local transform setup, there's a, a video of Renee doing one here as well. So there you have it. These are our three most common problems that we get on the tech support line when it comes to data being all screwed up because of the base setup. Hopefully now you know exactly how you can change your base setup in the field so you can get accurate data day to day that lines up all the time. If you liked everything you learned in this video, I'd highly recommend checking out this next one. It's a great help. It'll get you guys up and running in no time.